Hi guys! In this video, we're going to try out an RGB LED and cycle through most of the colors that can be achieved. To build our circuit, we will need Uno R3, breadboard, four male to male jumper wires, RGB LED, and three 220 ohm resistors. Inside the LED package, there are three LEDs red, green, and blue. By controlling the brightness of each of them, you can mix pretty much any color you want. The RGB LED has four leads. The single longest lead is connected to all three negative sides of the LEDs. The other three leads represent the positive connection of each of the single LEDs within the package. This is a schematic for an RGB LED. The common negative terminal is called a cathode and will be connected to the ground. Each LED inside a package requires its own 220 ohm resistor to prevent too much current flowing through it. There are special PWM pins on the UNO. PWM stands for Pulse Mode Modulation. It is a technique for controlling power and therefore the brightness of each of the LEDs. Roughly every 2 milliseconds, the PWM output will produce a pulse. The duration of on time is called the pulse width. Pulses will create a square wave. This on off pattern can simulate voltages in between full on, which is 5 volt, and off, which is 0 volt. The length of this pulse can be controlled by your programming using the analog write function, which is on scale 0 to 225. In this example, analog write 64 requests a 25% duty cycle. So let's buy everything the proper way now. This is my sketch. It will first define the pins we are using. We'll start with the red color first and fade it out, then transform to green. Finally the green will fade out and transform to blue, then back to red. Your eye has three types of light receptors in it. Red, green and blue. By using the three LEDs, we are playing a trick on the eye. Your brain will process the amounts of red, green and blue and convert it into a color of the spectrum. Hope you liked this video, give me a thumbs up if you did and see you next time.